All right. Um, but I'll have enough time to cover everything. So ladies and gentlemen, basically what I want to do is just at least introduce you again to polynomial functions um, because we will be doing this. We already did kind of talk about polynomial functions when we talked about n behavior. Back over there, we talked about degree, leading coefficient, trying to remem remind you guys. So what I did was I gave a nice little formal definition of that. But if that looks really crazy, and I remember the first time I saw it, I'm like, what the heck is that? Why? I know what polynomials are. Why do I need to look at this? Well, I just kind of wrote this in there because I want you guys to have at least a formal definition of a polynomial and to understand a couple items from this that are really important. Basically, a polynomial is just a sum of monomials. And it's where every power, which is going to be like the powers of your exponents, is a non-negative, which is a fancy way of saying positive, integer. Okay, non-negative integer. Okay. Because I want to say non-negative. Then the important thing also is on your non-negative integer, um, your degree is n, which I want you guys to look at this because even though this formula looks pretty crazy, yes. Yes, but it is a subscript, yes. Um, I always, I really don't like actually how this formal definition is written. So I really won't be concerned. I, if it was me, I would write this as a sub m, a sub n, a sub p, a sub z, whatever else is different variables. Because real, in reality, the coefficients are totally different numbers. And they're not related to each other. However, the degrees is something different. Because when we're talking about the degrees, what I want you guys to understand, if this is n, the next one, if we're writing a polynomial in what we call standard form, the highest degree, highest power is first, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. Do you guys agree that n is the largest one? Because the next one's n minus 1. The next one after that is n minus 2, right? If n was like the number 8, you would agree that that would be it. So when I'm asking you for what is the degree of a polynomial, you are looking for the highest power, or n, OK? And usually when we write a polynomial in standard form, we write it with the highest power first, then going down in descending order. I really don't like how we use the different coefficients in also in subscript notation. Um, however, it's just important for you guys to know, whichever, polyno whichever term has the highest power, that's called our leading term, which we'll go over a little bit more next class period. And the coefficient of that leading term, which is a sub n, is your leading coefficient. Okay? So that's your leading coefficient. Now, what we are going to practice in this set is understanding if we have an example of a polynomial or not, and what is the leading coefficient and what is the degree if we have a polynomial. So, in this first example, basically, as I mentioned, to determine if something is a polynomial or not, we need to look at our powers. Ah, that's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be a 6. I didn't write that correctly. My apologies. And then I threw my thing away. Here we go. OK. So when we have this, we have all our polynomials. Are these all non-negative integers? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're all non-negative integers. Now, is this in standard form? Is my highest power listed first? No. no. So it's not in standard form. So whenever you guys are doing this, always try to make sure that you can write it so your power is your highest power, what we call in descending order. Okay. So make sure, guys, whenever you're doing any of these problems, make sure you always have them in descending order. Highest power first, going down. Now, I can say the degree is equal to 6. Right, because that's my highest power. And my leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of that, val of that term, which if I just have a negative symbol there, that really represents a negative one. negative one. Anybody have any questions on that one? That's it. That's it. Done. Yeah. Really, I just want to make sure you guys understand the n there and there. Huh? There isn't a what? There is a what? A negative? negative? Well, you mean like here? Yes. OK, so let's skip down to example number three. 
Example number three, we look at all of our powers that we have. Remember, if there's not a power, you can represent it as a 1. So if we're looking at all of our powers, and we see that one of them is a negative, well, now that contradicts my non-negative integer statement, correct? So we don't have to find the degree in the leading coefficient. We just say not a polynomial, or I'll just say not a poly. It's not a polynomial, so we're not going to worry about the degree. Because I said every power is a non-negative integer. That's a negative. Huh? It's not a polynomial. I'm just writing poly instead of polynomial. It's just a collection of numbers and x's. Yes. So what's your question? I still don't get the whole p of x thing. You don't need to understand. This is just an example of all functions. But this is just a formal definition of all functions. You really don't need to be hung up on any of this. All you really need to understand is the highest power is your degree. The coefficient of the leading term is your, which is a sub n. This is your leading term. So the coefficient of that is your leading coefficient. And that's all I'm asking you. This is a formal definition of all polynomials. So I wrote it up there to represent all polynomials. It looks really crazy, though, I understand. But don't try to understand this, because you really don't need to understand this. You need to understand that the highest power of any polynomial, it doesn't, see, see how these are all different? So I don't want to just give you one example and say, hey, here's the degree. I want to say, hey, for all polynomials, it doesn't matter what the polynomial looks like, the highest power should be listed first, and then they should be going in descending order, because you do need to know descending order for what we're going to be doing later this chapter. So you need to know whatever the highest power is, that's your degree. And whatever the coefficient is of that term is your leading coefficient. Yeah. Just focus on knowing those two, and you'll be fine for right now. Yes? So if there is no order, does that mean No, you're talking about like there's no 4 there? Or like, yeah. I'll, there is. We, when we get to it in like it's two class periods, I'll show you where it is. It's multiplied by 0. Yeah, it's based, well, not. Zero, but yeah, it's multiplied by yeah. It's x to the fourth times, and the coefficient would be zero. Yes. Where is it? Right. Yeah, because it's a negative. Oh, okay. I can use that one. Thank you. Uh, oh, you put it up there? No. Oh. Okay. So now let's go back to example number two. Example number two, if we look at their powers, we can see that we have a fraction. Again, the definition says non-negative integers. 1 half is not an integer, correct? So not a polynomial. One half is not an integer. 1 half is not an integer. Integers are whole numbers, positive and negative. I know I like it down there. It keeps my feet warm. <laughs> Now, the last example, this is a good one that will get a lot of people. Um, so in this example, um, we, it's not simplified. We have this whole term being divided by 5. We can simplify this. Well, first of all, let's go and look. Are all of my variables that have powers, do you guys see their exponent or see the powers? Those are all non-negative integers, right? So a lot of you guys would say, hey, it's good. Um, however, if I was going to ask you what the degree is, a lot of you would say 2, which is correct. But then if I asked for what the leading coefficient is, you'd say negative 1, which is incorrect. The reason being, 5 is divided into all of these. So if you rewrite this, it'd be negative 1 fifth x squared minus 3 fifths x plus 4 fifths. So yes, the degree in this case is negative 1 fifth. And my, oh, I'm sorry, the degree is 2. The degree is 2, and the leading coefficient is negative 1 fifth. Does everybody follow me on that? Huh? No, well, if you're doing an equation, the, yeah, well, no, you'd have to multiply. You can't multiply by 5 unless you multiply the other side by 5. But I, I see what you're kind of trying to look at and trying to do. All right, now, Sven, 